We had questions and now we have answers. We've been waiting with bated breath for drag racing to resume and the many different shaped, different sized pieces of the puzzle are finally starting to fall into place. Earlier this week, the NHRA announced they would be pushing back their proposed restart to the first weekend of August. Not surprisingly, the realization that professional drag racing would remain on pause for another three months has sent shockwaves through the racing community. Sources close to the situation indicate that NHRA's revised Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series schedule will start in Seattle and span essentially 16 straight weekends. Notably absent from the proposed schedule is Bill Bader Jr.'s Summit Motorsports Park in Norwalk, Ohio. Again, no official schedule has been distributed by NHRA, but burnout has been told to expect something from drag racing's high offices in Glendora, California by the end of this week. Racing will resume in Tulsa, Oklahoma, however, this weekend with Keith Haney and Todd Martin's notorious Throwdown at T-Town. Featuring the Midwest Pro Mod Series top sportsman, top dragster, X275, and a host of other drag racing eliminators, Osage Casino Tulsa Raceway Park's premier event is shaping up to be an absolute barn burner. All of us here at Burnout tip our collective caps to the team in Tulsa, especially track manager Todd Martin for the time, energy, effort, and dollars that have been invested to pull this event off and do so in a safe and healthy manner for everyone involved. Racing continues, wow. That was fun to say out loud. The very next weekend at Darlington Dragway for Keith Berry's Woostock 2020. Always an enjoyable event for everyone involved. It feels as though the race has taken on a much greater meaning and holds a much greater significance as we approach the midway point of the most trying, complicated, and confusing calendar year of our lives, generally speaking. While we haven't seen an official entry list, the name slated to be in attendance for this annual event may well rival any other outlaw race we see this year. From the biggest names in NHRA Pro Modified to the heavy hitters of the PDRA's Pro Boost and Pro Nitrous divisions, to a literal who's who of radial tire stars and a host of grudge racing and no time legends, Woostock is looking better than ever from a racer participation standpoint. Unfortunately, one of the toughest racers the no time small tire shootout scene has ever known Keith Zabo will not be in attendance as the legendary racer lost his battle with cancer earlier this week. On behalf of myself and our team here at Burnout, we send our sincerest condolences to Keith's wife, Tracy, their children, and the entire Zabo family. Drag racing will most certainly miss Keith, but we will not forget him and we will celebrate him along with our friends in the racing community at the fast approaching Woostock 2020. Back on the bright side of things, rumblings in the world of pro-level eighth mile drag racing point to the Professional Drag Racers Association being able to finally start their season toward the end of this very month, which is absolutely great news for an entire world of racers, manufacturers, track operators, and service providers. We expect an official announcement in the coming days, and you can be sure that we'll keep you in the loop. And that is the Week in Review.